So this is actually a great question, Tanya. So the issue is you currently do not have a team and you're kind of wondering what, what you need to do as a leader to get one. Here's the first important point I'd like to make here, because obviously in our company, we specialize in leadership development. And there's this misconception, and I had it for a long time, that we're only a leader once we have a team. See, for a long time, I felt like once I had a team, then I would be a leader. And, it, and, and what most people don't realize is it's that mindset of not seeing themselves as a leader that's one of the very things that actually keeps them from having success and growing a team. See, leadership begins with you. The most important person you will ever learn how to lead in your life is yourself. See, you've got to learn how to lead yourself through all of your self-doubt, overwhelm, indecision, and fear to create results so that you can then in turn teach and help others do the same. So this is the reason why we start out every single one of our students, the first thing we do before we get into the systems and the strategies and all the stuff that people really want, but it's not what they need. See, we have to learn how to slow down, begin to look inside of our, our head at all the stuff that's going on that's been holding us back. Because when we say leading yourself, what that starts with is learning how to master your mind. One of my favorite quotes is by Winston Churchill. Churchill was quoted as saying, the price of greatness is responsibility. And how I interpret that for this application is as a leader, if we truly want to go out and make an impact and a difference in other people's lives, if we want to build a business that gives us freedom, if we want to fulfill a bigger purpose and calling we have for ourselves in the world, we must become responsible for every single thought that we think. And the reality is most people are not. Most people have limiting beliefs about themselves. They have red light stories. They don't see themselves as a leader. They lack belief in themselves. And that's the reason why they never grow and build the kind of business that they want. So Tanya, the very first thing you need to do before you put the systems in place and find the third party tools, all that stuff is great, but they're actions. And actions don't create your results, your beliefs do. You have to get really intentional on who you need to be as a leader in your business because success is not a matter of doing, it's a matter of being. How do you want to feel about yourself? How do you want to feel when you're sharing your business, right? You wanna be confident, you wanna be inspired, you wanna be excited, you don't wanna be you know, sharing your business and secretly hoping that they don't join because you feel like if they do, you're just gonna fail them like the other people that have joined you in the past and failed. See, this is part of that stay stuck cycle that we talk about, but it begins with you. Leadership is an inside out game. Success is an inside out game. We have to learn how to lead ourselves, and that means mastering our mind. And the thing that we teach, the, the instruction manual that we help people with to do that is called the formula for transformation. 